you want to get on the action, we want to hear from you. Hit us up, faderoutemail at gmail.com. Slide in our DMs on IG at Fade Route Podcast. Drop us a DM on Twitter at Fade Route DNZ. Comment on our YouTube channel, The Fade Route with DNZ. Questions, comments, picks, segment suggestions, you name it, we want to hear from you. Get at us, in crowd. We are back with the man from Tubby, Book, Tubby Hook Tavern, Danny Butler. And as a little bonus, we know, Danny, that you love playing Immaculate Grid Baseball. I do. So what do you say we play a game of Immaculate Grid right here, right now? Let's go for it. Why not? All right. So for those of you who have not played Immaculate Grid before, it is a grid of nine spots, right? Nine innings, nine spots. You have three going across the top, three going across the bottom, and you have to match the particular categories with a player. The rarer, the better. So... How about we start, if we're all loaded up? We all loaded up, gentlemen? Yeah. Yes. All right. How about we start, upper left-hand corner, White Sox, Padres. Who is a player for the White Sox and the Padres? One guy comes right to mind, but it, uh, he, he won't be that rare. He'll probably be a high percentage. So I'm trying to – should I just throw him out there? or are you? Yeah, throw it out there. See what happens. Uh, uh, Jake Peavy popped right to my head. Oh. Jake PV survey says, boom, 14% Jake PV. Uh, that's not bad as I thought. Okay. That's pretty solid. Yeah. That's pretty solid. All right. So let's, let's go down. Let's work down. Padres Astros. Who was a Padre and an Astro? Carl Everett? Was Carl Everett a Padre and an Astro? He I know definitely he, was an Astro. He was definitely an Astro. Let's see how we did here. And eh, no, Carl Everett, not a Padre. Hey, for every other team with the Padres. <laughs> that was the yeah. That was one team that wasn't there. Surprisingly, Carl Everett was did not make his way over there. Yeah, Mr. Personality. Uh. Let's see. Maybe we can find another guy or we can pass. What do you think, Danny? You got uh, one? A, cu- a couple guys popped into my head. I, I, I remember a big trade. It might have been the, the most players in history with the Padres Astros. I want to say like early to mid-90s. It was like 12 players involved. And just uh, so we'll go because he went on to play with the Mets too. And I think he lived in the boathouse out on the, the Hudson River. We'll go Derek Bell. Ooh, Derek Bell. Let's see how we go. Derek Bell, two percent. So let's go. I think boom. I I think him and Steve Finley were the focal points of that deal, but Derek Bell would definitely be a rarer guy. Ooh, two for two, coming in hot, Danny. Uh, here we go. Let's we'll keep working our way down. So Padres, Pirates, Padres, Pirates. Jeez. Mmm, Padres and Pirates. I think I got a guy because we uh, the Yankees got him. I think we got him from Pittsburgh and then traded him to San Diego. And I think he went on to play for the Mets, too. Does that ring a bell for anybody? Anybody know what I'm thinking? Was he a first baseman? Uh, mostly an outfield. He might have moved to first base later in his career. So, I mean, solid player. Might have made an all-star team with the, with the Pirates, maybe. Oh, well. <laughs> he would have been the one guy on the Pirates. Well, that's what I mean. Yeah, <laughs> if he was going to make the all-star team, it'd be with the Pirates as the lone representative. <laughs> you give up? Yeah. Hit me. The, the X Man, Xavier Nady. Oh, Ooh. that's a good one. Boom, two percent. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost positive the Yankees traded him, got him from the Pirates, and then we traded him to the uh, Padres. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that that's the right way it went because he ended up going from the Mets to the Pirates. Yeah, in right. the Roberto yes. Hernandez trade. I remember yes, that. Because right. of the, the infamous Juan or Sanchez car accident. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. So six degrees of separation there. Well, that's, that's why I, I always, 
the way my mind works, I always try to go through the Yankees or the Mets, just see if anything pops in there. That's, That's why when, when when they have the Yankees on this, it's just not fair. I can get like point oh oh four percent on guys. Oh, totally. Like, yeah, it, yeah. I think yesterday's I did in like a minute and a half. Yeah. But, but it's so it's very easy when you put in like, mean you know like connected teams. All right, middle row time. Cardinals and White Sox. Lance Lynn. Lance, Lance Lynn. Lynn. Yeah, like that's, that's the one Lynn. that comes to mind. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, yeah, that's a good one. Can we do rarer? Can, can we do rarer, gentlemen? Um, AJ Przinsky, did he play for the Cardinals? He, he, I think he did for at least a year. I think so. AJ Przinsky, Long Island Zone. Boom, 10%. Nice. Nice job there. Nice yeah. job. AJ, we love you. We love to punch AJ. Love AJ. All right, we have four guests left, guys. Him and Michael, talk about fights from, uh, you know, in baseball recently. Him and Michael Barrett had a good one that time. That was a good scrap. Yeah, that was a good one. That was a good scrap. And, you know, like, he went, he didn't uh, go down like Tim Anderson did. Like, no, no, he AJ's didn't. got a jaw on him. Yep. Astros Cardinals. Daryl yeah. Kyle. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, Darryl definitely. Kyle. The late, awesome. great Daryl Kyle. If I could spell Daryl. Yeah, right. I don't remember. He spelled it kind of weird, I think. We'll just spell Kyle, right? I think K-I-L-E, right? No. What was K-Y- it? I think it was K-Y-L-E. Backwards uh, K, if you got a guy looking. <laughs> He did spell it weird. He spelled it weird. Yeah. That's why I mean, he's not coming up. Is it D A Ah here we go. D A R R Y L. Like Dar- like Dal Strawberry. Okay, so that's not too too weird. But five percent. Nice. That's a goal. That's a goal. Yeah. All right. We have three guesses left, guys. So here here we go. On to Pirates Cardinals. Pirates Cardinals. Pirates and Cardinals. Oh, I got a guy because I was watching the the MLB uh, documentary about um, uh, those Whitey Hurst like Cardinals teams. Uh, Andy Van Slyke. Oh, that's a good one. Because yeah. he was playing center uh, when Sid Bream scored, and he told he yep. told Barry Bonds to move in, and Bonds gave him the finger. <laughs> <laughs> nice, uh, Mr. Personality, Mr. Congeniality. <laughs> well done, Barry. Andy Van Slyke, eighteen percent. Oh man, that's more than I thought. Huh? Yeah, that's surprising. That one's a surprising. All right, so we have two guesses left. We have three spots. 20 win seasons as pitchers. White Sox, Astros, or Pirates. We got to pick two of them. Uh, Pirates, the guys, uh, I'm almost Pirates. positive. Not, I'm not going to get a Pirate. He went to, he's from New York. He went to LaSalle High School. Candyman, John Candelaria. I'm almost positive Ooh, he won 20. Really? Good, good teams in the 70s. I'm almost positive. For the Pirates? Yeah, he came up with the Pirates, yeah. Wow. Yeah. 18%. Get nailed. Oh, man, that's, that's, a, that's a high percentage, too, man. There's too many wackos out there like wow. that. Wow. Wow. Now... Astros Houston should be easy, right? I would assume. You got Ryan, you have Clemens, you have Verlander, you have so many choices. I was, that you I can was gonna go with Verlander. That's what I was gonna say, but yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I was thinking Roy Oswalt, but I don't know if he ever won twenty. Oswalt's oh, a good choice. Oswald's Mike Hampton. Good. Yeah, Mike definitely won twenty. Wow, they had a lot of twenty-eight wins. Yeah, so what do we think? There's a lot of different ways we can go here. Yeah. Uh, the yeah, other I, thing, the other way we can go is Chicago White Sox, like famous White Chicago Sox, White Sox uh, with 20 million winners. I think Astros are easier though, right? I'm pretty sure I got. A, I mean, yeah, the Astros have more choice. I'm pretty sure I got a guy for the the White Sox though, because the Yankees got him. He's in jail now. He's uh, <laughs> he got a. Uh, because I was reading about it a couple months ago. He got, he got arrested. He's like a drug trafficker now. Esteban Loaiza had one real big year, right? Then he went. El Duque nice. didn't El Duque oh also have one? I, I don't know if El Duque. He was he he pitched him. I don't know if he won twenty though. Esteban Loaiza, I forgot about yeah. him. Because then oh, the Yankees God. got him later in his career. He was awful, but he made some good connections. I think. 
<laughs> you know, the heights or whatever he was. Oh, my God. Well, he, apparently he wasn't dabbling in the performance-enhancing substances that were going yeah. to the Yankees dugout. <laughs> Just the good old recreational <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Oh man, that's definitely gonna boost our. Let, let's see, Lil Wiza. Uh, survey says correct. A rarity oh. score of one seventy nine, gentlemen. That's pretty good. I'll take that's it. pretty good. Esteban Lil Wiza, ten percent. Ten percent. Which that's one? Which one did we? Which one did we not get? We did. We skipped the Astros twenty game winner because we, oh, right. we ran out of options. I got you. Oh, I got you. I got you. So let's see here. Justin Verlander. Yeah. Yeah, that's like right. That, that would have been it. Oh, another, ooh, a good one that we missed out on for Astros Padres. Ken Caminiti. Yeah, Caminiti came to my mind too, but I figured, I, I just remember that, that trade. I figured it'd be more obscure. Yeah, Caminiti was the highest rated at 35%. So. Another guy died, died in the South Bronx from a drug overdose. So, we, you know, we got drugs in the Bronx all over this one. It all it all comes around. It's That's all the like next full grid. circle. It's like, yeah, oh my yeah. god! Yeah, where did this guy die? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh brother, like that was fantastic. We should do this fun. again sometime. Absolutely. Like yeah, and they do basketball, they do football, they do hockey as well. So yeah, if we, if I we're feeling, I could do fun. hockey. I could probably do football, basketball. Might be yeah, tough. I've done the football a couple times. I've been I've been okay at it. Not you know, the, the key to that one is backup quarterbacks. Guys that played for like you know, a guy like Steve DeBerg or was on or Jeff George, guys that were on ten different teams, you know. So do you Josh only Johnson? Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> so do you only do the? Do you only usually do baseball, or do you move uh, over to football? I, I usually try the football, and I'll look at the basketball, the hockey, unless unless the Rangers are involved. I mean, I'm I, I'm not getting I'm not, not getting that. immaculate. The I'm hockey one was insane. It was the Atlanta Thrashers version of the Winnipeg Jets and the Calgary Flames. I'm like, I'm not doing that. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I'm a hockey like fan, but I can't do that. Yeah, like, I, I tend to use the old, like, whenever I see the uh, the Washington Nationals, I, I always have better luck with the Expos than I do with the Nationals, you know? Yeah. No, that's, that's true. But, I don't know. Like, the, these things are so much fun. I'm so glad that they came out with this because it gives, you know, nerds like us an opportunity yeah. to, to really 100%. show off. <laughs> yeah, and, and you know all those people, all those swamp people playing Wordle. You know, screw you. We got we got stuff now. That's, That's right. Smart. This is our yeah. Wordle. Screw you and your words. We don't need words. We don't need words. <laughs> we got names, and we'll do this again next time, brother. Thank you so much, and we'll be hearing from you again soon. Thank you so much, guys. It was fun. Thanks for listening to this episode of our podcast. If you like what you heard and want to hear more, be sure to like and subscribe on your favorite podcast platform. Rate us five stars. Leave us a review. Turn on subscription notifications and tell your friends. Spread the word. Spread it wide.